creators of my channel I'm going to report my bellboy bell peppers today which were purchased from the 99 cents only store two months ago as of today I already have two bell peppers one of which is red already and the other one is still growing bigger as you can see it's still green the plant which has a red shoe shaped pepper was the one that first started giving flowers by the way out of eight flowers just one became a pepper the rest just painted and dropped and since then I thought that that probably my plants grew larger for repotting and their roots had reached the bottom of their small home so today I'll use the si uh, simple organic potting soil again found at 99 cent store before switching of the small pots into larger ones I would like to show you how my both bell peppers were flowering here they are one of has no flowers and only one bell pepper remaining and growing and the other one has flowers but no no peppers on it so by the way I found out a small pattern which is whenever you see that the flower stem is getting kind of thicker you should expect that particular flower to become a veg but if the flower stem is pale don't expect it to give any pepper so these are the pots that I'm planning of using today for repotting of the red one I'm going to use this brown pot and for repotting the green one I'm going to use this black because the black one is larger and kind of the bottom is deeper and I hope that the green one will still grow okay and let's go ahead and see what I'm using as a nutrient for the plant I'm using the sunflower seed skins oh by the way all my plants that started first giving either vegetables or berries for example my first strawberry had a shoe shape I guess that's kind of a symbol that says I'm coming to your apartment please welcome me and he's walking in with shoes so my strawberry first strawberry was shoe shape and the bell pepper is shoe shape too let's continue with our repotting process for the beginning I have to start emptying the bell peppers taking out from their small pot and for that I'm going to use my king gloves of course after removing my jade stone bracelet and the genuine leather ring which were both given to me by two of my best friends and they were handmade after putting my gloves which are real gardening gloves this time they are made of some type of rubbery material I'm going to to place the pots on the ground where I already prepared the soil for this process half of the soil is watered the other half is still dry as the pre-drilled holes on my flower pots are pretty large I'm using some rock that were purchased from dollar store last year just five to six medium sized ones will be okay so the water stays in pots for a longer time rather than totally getting in and out insects so I'm placing this rock and then adding one third of the pot the soil first of all one small tip whenever you try to remove your uh, plant try not to water it although I watered it in the morning and it's still kind of not dry but it came out from the pot easily now I'm going to open up the roots see why I was saying that it needs repotting because of the roots are already coming out from here see well after taking the plant out of your pot you see that the shape is still the pot's shape so i have to open up the roots uh -oh. all the roots came out on this side see that's why it was getting yellow so trying not to harm the roots carefully open up so they will start growing again see now the roots are open they can feel comfortable in their new home they will start growing in the larger pot easily and now I can plant it into this large pot and for your plant to stay straight because if I put it like this it may go crooked and get into one side I'm gonna add potting soil from all the sides this is the final look of my plant before I plant it into another pot here is the final look of my repotted plant okay now I'm going to water it from all the sides and then leave it for 24 hours in a dark place so the roots can start 
working for the plant and then I'll place it on my windowsill the next morning. Here is my red one. The roots are ready to be repotted. Okay, I'm done. Well, after the repotting, five days are done by and I used this fertilizer spike called Jobbies, also purchased from 99 cent stores. It says for beautiful house plants and I guess herbs because there's an herb on the photo. So it says to place them every 60 days and th for the best results we have to place between the pot and the plant. We have to cut the distance into half and just push it inside the soil and then water it. So I did as it said in the directions, instructions and my plant got totally red and also and my green bell pepper got larger as you can notice it's larger and also it started giving newer leaves like smaller leaves that are coming out the same is on the red one i have new leaves and new branches so let's hope that it will grow bigger and i will have more bell peppers besides this two now, as I have promised earlier, I'm going to talk about the benefits of the lemon thyme. This is the lemon thyme, if you haven't seen it. Well, the lemon thyme looks like oregano, the Italian herb, and the leaves are a little bit softer than the oregano's leaves. And when you try to use them for your health, you can make tea by cutting the leaves, pinching them from the tops, like the top part, like so and you may make tea. I'm usually putting into soups and salads as well, but you may use like making infusion and drinking as tea. So the health benefits of the lemon thyme, which is also called Thymus citriodorus, it's the Latin name, are it relieves muscle spasms. It's great for anti-aging. You may drink this tea for about four to five days in a row. Don't over drink it because it has strong properties and you may hurt yourself. Just before using any type of herbs, please discuss it with your physician, with your medical provider, because each person is an individual and you may have some allergies towards certain herbs. So please discuss it as I'm not a doctor and I'm just telling whatever I'm using, but it may be not beneficial for everybody. So remember that lemon thyme tea is helping with constant coughing, it, it relieves asthma and it also pr promotes relaxation. It helps with easing a tight chest, easing digestion if you have digestion problems, let's say you have heartburn or something like that. It helps with strengthening the immune system, it helps with laryngitis and gastritis. Laryngitis is with your sore throat problem and gastritis is when you have some stomach digestion problems. If you like these types of videos, please like, subscribe and leave your comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.